Hello everyone, I'm Vikas from Small Academy and welcome to another Android Studio tutorial. In this video today, we are going to talk about JSON data and we'll talk about how to parse the JSON data, how to extract the data and finally we will display that data in Recycler view. So in this JSON data, we will have name, images and other description so that we are going to create a custom layout for our Recycler view and we are going to extract the data and bind the data to the recycler view components and we are in this process we'll we are going to use volley android studio library so it is the official library recommended by the google to extract the data from the any web source like SGP sources that's why we are going to use the volley today let me show you what we are going to build today so let me open my device here so in my phone i have this final application and here you can see we have this list of songs okay so my application is called as git so here we have the list of songs and with the uh, thumbnail and the singer's name and the title of the song and this applications actually implement this and when I whenever I click on any of this song I can actually play it so if you can hear it on the background okay maybe you can hear that song is playing in the background but let me close it because I don't want to get copyright strike. In this video today, we only talk about how to extract the data from the URL and how to uh, create this recycler view with the data. But uh, let me know if you guys want me to create full tutorials on this cloud music player in the coming videos. If you want me to talk about this cloud music player and if you want to learn how to do this, then don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below so that I can uh, you know start working on it. But for today's video, let's go ahead and work on the extraction of the JSON data. So uh, let me show you the data that we have today. So let me go here in this uh, URL. So this is the JSON data that we are going to use today. And this is the URL for it. I'm going to leave this URL on the description so that you can get that URL from the description as well. And in the future, if this URL is not working and uh, we can't say anything about it because hacker Earth might remove this in the future. So I'm gonna going to uh, leave the copy of this uh, data in the my GitHub repository with this uh, application. If you are watching this in the future, you can go to my repository and get the URL from there. Okay. So uh, this uh, URL is provided by Hacker Earth, and actually I was participating on one of the competition on the Hacker Earth, and they gave me this URL and asked me to create a music player, but I never really completed it and never submitted it. So yeah, that's that. So today we are going to extract the data. We are going to download this URL, this data, parse this data and display it in the recycler view. So anything that is, so anything that is denoted by square bracket is JSON array. And inside this, that will have the multiple data separated by the comma. Okay. So, and anything that is separated by the curly braces are called the JSON objects. So we have multiple JSON objects here. So let me go to the JSON formatter tools and show you guys what I'm talking about. So this is the data that we have here. And if I process this, we'll get something like this. So you can see we have one big JSON array and inside that we have objects. So this is the JSON array of objects and inside objects will have multiple fields. So this is song, URL, artist and cover image. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a class in our Android Studio project with with the name as song and uh, inside that we'll create the fields for song url artist and cover image so that we can ex uh, store this data when we extract uh, this data from this url okay let's go ahead and create an android studio project let's open the android studio and here i'm gonna create new android studio project as always we'll create an empty project give the any name that you want to give I'm just going to give some generic name song list and uh, leave everything else as it is. And if you want to change this, you can change it, but that's not really required here. So click on finish and our application build will start and then we can start working on it. Okay. The build is finished. Now let's start with our application. The first thing uh, we need is a volley library. As I said before, we're going to use volley library to parse the data. So first of all, I'm going to copy the dependency URL from the volley and paste in our application and add that to our application. So let's go to the URL browser here. And uh, by going to the, this URL, 
i'll provide this url in the description of this video you can get that from there and uh, when we scroll down a little bit we'll see this dependencies library given by the this website copy from here and let's go back to our project in the uh, builder gradle file of our module app there we'll have the option to add the dependencies so let me paste it here and now once i sync this project we are ready to use volley in our android application and uh, we'll also use card view and recycler view as well so if you have watched my previous videos on recycler view or card view or making the custom grid layout we are going to do the same procedure here so you can skip ahead if you know already otherwise you can follow along with me so first we need to add the recycler view so click on this download button here because recycler view do not come with the project integrated so we need to do it manually so click on ok and it will also start the build process and it will add the recycler view into our project as well and we also need the card view so go to the container here and we also need to add the card view as well do the same thing and we are ready to go okay now we can start using the recycler view and card view so first thing i'm gonna do is design the layout that we're going to use for this project so first i'm gonna add the recycler view here and we will also design the custom layout that we're going to use to display the item of recycler view and after that we'll go ahead and uh, work on our java file okay so let me delete this text view drag and drop the recycler view from here uh, let me go to common drag and drop the recycler view now i will fix the constraint and i'm gonna give the id for this recycler view so that we can use this later in our java file so since this is going to have the list of songs i'm gonna say songs list okay so uh we also need one more custom layout so let's go to layout here and i'm gonna create new android resource file so layout resource file and this is custom list layout click ok and we are good to go so now we need to design the layout for our custom recycler view items but i have already designed the uh, layout so i'm going to copy and paste the layout file here and i'm going to provide this source code in the description as well so you can go ahead and download this so here we have one image view and image view have the id as cover image and we have song title and song artist okay so this is going to display the image song name and the artist of that songs so we may have multiple multiple artists here so if i go here in, and um, in the json data you can see we have the song name that is denoted by song url that is denoted by the url that is given here and artist whoever the artist is and the cover image for that particular uh, song so we will uh, extract the data and we will uh, assign that to our recycler view items and for image we are going to use uh, picasso picasso library so we'll add that later okay let's get back here now we can start working on our java file so first thing i want to do is i want to uh, bind this data with the xml resources and our java file by creating the adapter so you know the drill we'll do the same thing each time when we are creating the recycler view so i like to do it by creating the custom adapter because it will give me the more control of my recycler view but if you want to do like in different ways you can create the adapter right here in the main activity but uh, i prefer doing it in the custom adapter so let me create new adapter this adapter will extend the recycler view adapter and we need to pass the view holder of this adapter which we haven't created yet and now i'm going to create the recycle uh, view holder first by creating a inner class called view holder and it also extend the recycler view dot view holder okay now inside this we need to create a constructor for this so let me click on this and we'll create the constructor and that will resolve that error and here we need to implement the few methods so click on implement methods and we need to implement this get item count on bind view holder and on create view holder 
and each of these method have the different kind of work and we will go through that uh, in a second this on create view holder we are going to create a view using the custom layout that we have created here and here we are going to uh, assign the layout to our custom view and we are going to create the new view holder using that view okay and on the on bind view holder we are going to use the view that we have created and using that we can access the data of this custom view like image view on uh, text view that we have here and we can assign the data that we have received from the json here and finally we have this get item count and here we need to provide the number of item that we will be displaying in the recycler view and so since our json data have the uh, large number of recycler view we are just going to pass the size here so that it will even when the data are removed or added to the uh, json data it will automatically going to reflect on the recycler view okay so uh, but before that we need to receive so when we, whenever we create the instance of this adapter we need to pass the data that we need to display in the recycler view right so to do that we are uh, we need to create a constructor and inside that we are going to pass the data while creating the instance of this adapter so since we are having the multiple field of this uh, json objects here song you are the cover and artist right so it is better to use objects in instead of using the list or you know uh, array list so if you see my older videos or videos that i have uploaded previously in the channel you can see i have always you always used array list or list to get the data because I was just creating the static data on the main activity itself and I was passing to the adapter but here we are getting the data from the external sources so it is better to create a class and update the data okay so to do that we need a class called song so I'm going to create that here and we are going to use get setter and getters to set the new data or get return the data that we have already given to the object song and now inside this i'm going to create the fields that we are going, going to require everything will be a string because our title song title is a string cover image and let me see what was the other uh, that was url other field was url so let me create the url field which is a string as well i'm gonna say image url okay so it will be more easier for me to uh, refer this later in the video so I'm going to create the constructor to assign the uh, data. So first I'm going to create a constructor for this class. So let me create public constructor song and we will pass the title artist cover image and image URL. So we need two constructor here. One is empty constructor used to create the empty object of this song and we can assign the data later. So let me create the string for title 